See, I yes. thought that was weird that he he broke two of the three, but God let him keep his power I'm until not the one wins. That he broke. Two. We're not sure he's the fault. Yeah, that one's a speculation. That one is a speculation. The Bible oh. doesn't ever tell me that he did that. Oh. All right, let's open up in prayer so we can. But what is it? Because we can get the answer. I love it. Only the hair. He didn't say the other ones. All right. Father, thank you so much for this morning. Thank you for your word and just how exciting and new and how we can discuss it and how we can so apply it to our lives and and how we've learned things about Samson that we never knew before from our children's uh, stories that we grew up with. Father, I just pray that um, we would end our lives uh, on a high point like Samson did, that he was called a man of faith in Hebrews. What an honor to be in that faith chapter. Father, I just pray that um, as we go through, that we you would bring things to mind that we study, that we would glean from one another. And, um, and again, just thank you so much for the things that you have written down for us to learn. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Okay, first off, let's review. Uh, you know, I don't usually do segment divisions, but this was a really good segment division. I thought, oh, I think I'll share that. Because this is, this is good. Um, if you want to put those in your uh, segment divisions on your at a glance chart, it's on the far right, and you kind of like make up your own division here, division here. They never give you a little clue on that one. So Judges one to two, that's all we did. Israel did not drive out their enemies. Okay. Then three through sixteen, it's judge this, judge that, judge, 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 judge. And in your titles, you have the names of your judges. So that really helps to know, oh, these are our judges. Okay? Um, chapter 3 was Othniel, Ehud, and Shamgar. You know, we always feel we know so much about Shamgar. Not. Um, chapter 4 and 5 was Deborah and Barak, because we have the song in chapter 5. 6 through 8 is all about Gideon. 9 is Gideon's son, Abimelech. And... One of our cross references had an Abimelech, and I'm like, it can't be the same guy. Yeah. No, there's more than one of them. Yeah, I was like, it can't be the same guy. Chapter 10 was Tola and Jair. Um, 11 to 12 is Jephthah, Ibzon, Elon, and Abdon. Again, don't know much about them. And then we were deep into 13 through 16 this week uh, about Samson. Okay? 17 to 21, you got to read at the very, very beginning of our study, if you remember. So now you're going to end. 17 through 21, and you have, remember, two weeks, because you're on spring break next week. So we will finish up Judges next week, and I'll hand out Esther. So we'll just go right into it, okay? Um, and what was that main theme on 17 to 21 that we read two or three times? Oh, every man did. There was no, no one in Israel. No. And? Every man did what was right in his own eyes. Every man did what was right in his own eyes. Right. Okay? All right, chapter 13, what's the possible theme here? Now, a very important appearance, so you better have him in your title somewhere. Samson's parents to be. Samson's parents to be, that's great. Yeah. Manoah and Mrs. Manoah. The Lord takes a judge before his birth. Right, right. And Kate, you say at birth. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is at conception. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. This is when the boy is in there just like John the Baptist. He's in the womb. He's picked right. then. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so, um, but who's the main guy there that you had to keep looking at? Who's speaking? Uh, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. This is the theophany. Angel of the Lord. This is the angel of the oh, Lord. Yes. So you make yeah. sure he's in there because where else did you see him in this book? Who else did he appear before? Two. Early. And he didn't know. It didn't know that was who he was talking to. Right. Yeah. Um, Gideon. 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 Yes. Okay. So make sure you're tracking Angel of the Lord because mm -hmm. I've never read Two so much stories. about him. Hmm? Two long stories. Long Two long, long stories. stories. Gideon and Samson. That's a good way to remember it too. There's also an Angel of the Lord with. Um, I'm going to get married tonight. Right across the Jordan. Whose side are you on? Exactly. In the first couple chapters. Yep. That's right. Um, Samson, I, again, Samson is born, Samson's parents, um, something about a Nazarite vow maybe, because again, right. this is in the womb, so this is at conception. He's not even in the womb yet, and she's told what to do, okay? Um, verse 1, 
So encouraging. Now the sons of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, so that, oh, I meant, where's the word again? So that the Lord gave them into the hands of the Philistines for how long? Forty years. Forty years. Right. Interesting thing, Wearsby said the twenty years that Samson ruled was in that forty years. That's correct. Instead yes. of adding to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was because when I was doing my thing, I added it, and I was like, "Oh wait, no, that makes sense. It's inside of that forty." Uh, added it as far as how long we years had judges. Plus the twenty years of judges. Oh, and making it sixty. It's not. It's actually in the forty years. <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, I got it wrong. You had cross references. Okay, you went to, uh, and that's page sixty-six and sixty-seven, and you were learning about the Philistines or Philistines or however you want to say it. <laughs> You learned it as a child. That's probably how you're going to say it. Yeah. Okay. So, what did you learn about the Philistines? Philistines. Philistines. Are they a new group of people? No. 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 How far back? It was Abraham. First thing was Abraham, Abraham making a basically a covenant with them. Right. Oh, well, Abraham. Well. This is before the Israelites go into captivity. That's before they're let out of Egypt. That's before they're there. Okay, and Isaac goes there yeah. during a famine. So again, this is not who are these people? It's not new territory. Not new territory. Right. And they have been there a long time. I've been there a long time, exactly. Uh, Exodus thirteen. What was that about? God led them around him because he didn't want them to run when he saw war. Right. So these yeah. are pretty good warriors. Yeah. Okay. Good observance. These are pretty good warriors. He doesn't want the people coming out of Egypt that aren't used to war to hit back. Wasn't so he that takes what God does for us? Go another way. Yeah, right? Don't go there. Right? Start with smaller battles and work your way to the Philistines. There you go. Don't start with the Philistines. Get trained. Yeah. Okay. And then Exodus 23. Different situation. Mm. What were they supposed to do? They were Possess? supposed to take that land. Mm. Yeah. They were supposed to drive them out completely. Mm. And did they? Mm-hmm. Well, Anybody look up whose tribe land this is? Judah. And if you actually look in Judges 1.18, it actually does say Judah did capture Gaza, Ashkelon, and Ekron. Three right. of the five cities were captured by Judah. And but now then in this you're reading Ashkelon's back to Philistines. Exactly. So somehow they retook them over. Because they did not. But three of the five were actually taken by Judah. They didn't completely leave it alone. Right. It gives you a whole different perspective on Gaza. Just that, Gaza doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, and again, if you can ever go to Israel, I just highly, highly recommend that. Amen. Because man. seeing Gaza. Amen. You know, it's just that, that. Where's Syria? Right there. Where are the missiles? Right, right there. there. <laughs> I can't see them. No, you don't have to see them. They're there. The five lords of the Philistines. Now, this is going to come up with... Well, we'll wait. Okay, but this is very important. <laughs> that this is the five yes. lords of the Philistines. Okay, and and in sixty-five it names. No, here that names. Here it names who they are. Okay, Judges three or yes, again uh, um, cross references. Why didn't God yeah. just drive yeah. them out for them? Because yeah. yeah. he could have. Well, we have a part in his plan. Good. We're not just going to be sitting there and going, feed me, feed me. Right, right. I'm here. Now go fight. And I'll, I'll watch you. He wouldn't just drive them out if they weren't ready to take the land because then the land would it's actually secure. be overtaken good. by them. Yeah. Good, good, good. It's he also good. left some of the people there so they could learn how to, yeah. go, to, talk. to go to war. Yeah. And yeah. are you going to obey me or not? Right. Or are you yeah. not? Yeah. So the enemy's got to be there to do that, which is what we found out in Judges 3. Okay, Judges 10. Oh, goodness. Again. Again, Serving right? Again. Serving other gods, right? Israel cries. Yeah. Yeah. This time God goes, no. go ahead, serve them. Right, I'm done. I'm done. I will, not, see what you I will get. not deliver you. Call on your gods to help you. And see how that happens. Yeah. yeah. And they were greatly distressed. Um, and then you went to Shamgar, who was the first judge we talked about with against the Philistines or whatever. And again, what do we know about that? He they killed. Struck down six hundred Philistines with saving Israel. Yeah. That's all we know. Yeah. yeah. 
So he did it. He did it. And <laughs> Shamgar was a judge work. before Samson that came yeah. into contact with the Philistines. So they have been beaten before. They run out of three other cities. So it's at possible. One point, they were right. Shamgar destroyed about like beat them off. He delivered Israel from them. Right. So this is like what number three. <laughs> so yeah. They just so keep going like, back. It's these guys again, right? <laughs> Okay, uh, and then when, when you looked at your chart on um, your judges and who the enemies were and who was oppressing them, you noticed that Jephthah uh -huh. also fought the Philistines and the Ammonites. Mm -hmm. So, again, like, I think it is the third time. Yeah. So, yeah. this is not a, oh, I don't know who these people are. Mm -hmm. They totally know. Okay, uh, verses 2 to 7. What are those about? A certain man of Zora. A certain man of Zora. What's his name? Manoah. 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 Right. And his wife. And what happens? An angel, an angel, angel of the Lord. Of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Why does he appear to Manoah's wife and not Manoah? Because she was going to do it. <laughs> she wants him. She was going to have the baby. Right. She has a with praying, and she's the one that's going to raise him, too. Right. So. Right. And why did he appear to Mary, not Joseph? Right. Yeah. Right. I love how Christianity is the only religion that exalts and mm -hmm. gives worth to women. Mm -hmm. Remember when we were studying New Testament books, a lot of them were carried by women to that church. A lot of churches were in a woman's home. Mm -hmm. It's just like, wow. God puts worth. He continues to go, look, it doesn't mean a man is over a woman and a a woman is under a man in worth. We are right here. I use both. Are there role differences? There absolutely are role differences. But in worth, no. Not not at all. Now, again, I was saying before the class that Kay keeps saying um, he was set apart at birth. He was set apart at conception. Okay? Before. And just before because... Conception. Before. 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 <laughs> before. Before. Before conception. And just because we are in this kind of environment, with uh, fighting abortion and fighting and, and fighting for the life within the womb, it just comes to the forefront. Because this is, I'm not sure they had that problem, okay? Because barren was the worst thing that could happen to a Jewish woman, worse. I, I, there was nothing worse than not being able to have children, okay? Now, he, does, he doesn't only tell her she's gonna have children, what else does he tell her? Or a son. Set aside. Set aside. set aside the child. Right. So he's going to be set apart. Okay. <coughs> what is she supposed to do during pregnancy? Yeah. She's supposed to be careful not to no. drink wine. Right. Drink. She's yeah. almost like got the Nazarite vow too, right. but she doesn't. Right. Even but, before conception. So it says right. now, therefore. Right? Yeah. That's <laughs> true. She's got to start that now before he's even conceived. Because whatever what she takes in... The baby takes, the baby takes yes. in, and we right. know that today, even right, you know, right, right. Those are the cautions you're giving. Right. I just, I boy, if you can teach the Bible as literature, it's like let's go medical, the first let's go sanitary, yeah. let's go marriage, let's go family, let's go. It's like, what do you want? It's in there. Yeah. So yeah. manual, it's in there. Yeah. Even traffic, yeah, it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Honest, really, it's in there. <laughs> they didn't have cars, but they're going to tell you how to treat the people that are not such good drivers. <laughs> we'll just think that at that. Okay, and she was a, a Nazarite from her womb, from conception, not just birth. She was not to drink wine or strong drink. So that covered all bases. Nothing fermented. Or anything regarding the grape. Anything. Right, so no grape, no seed, no oil, no grape seed oil, nothing like that. No jam. Uh, no jam. Yeah. Right, no grape jam. No raisins. No raisins. No raisins. <laughs> Uh, where? How would she know what was unclean? Well, that would be Jewish law. Mm, Jewish exactly. Custom. She would know that. Yeah. Okay. So he's just taking for granted she knows what's unclean. He didn't have to spell that out for her. No razor was to come on his head. Do we know how old Samson is by the time of his death, maybe? I don't think so. It's never said how old he is. We know he judged for how long. 20 years. Okay, so he can't be five and judge. But right. he, well, right. They could have considered so, judge for birth because that's an apart from birth, though, too, though. Yeah. Right. So it could be that he was 20 years old. Either way, uh, 20 to 40. It's not like he left God's people to God anyway. <laughs> so there's no leading there. There's that. <laughs> I, yeah. 
I wish I knew, I wish I knew his age. Now, verse five, this is very key. For behold, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and no rage will come upon his head. For the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel from the hands of the Philistines. Now that's different. Every other judge is set up to deliver. This, and he delivered them from the hands of for so many years. Okay? This one says he would begin. So what do we know he didn't finish? Delivering. He didn't finish delivering. His, his job... I wouldn't like that personally. I mean, here's your job, but you're never going to finish it, just so you know. It's not going to be done. And the parents know this. And the parents know this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like Moses, you know. Right? He led the people, but he never entered the land. He never entered the land. Not but he, I don't think he knew going in, he wasn't going to get to go in no. until he messed up out there in the wilderness. Right. Samson knows going in, this job is not going to be finished by you. Maybe it's going to be finished, but it's not going to be finished by you. David at the temple. Okay. Uh, yeah, he wanted to build the temple, but he couldn't. But he gathered all the stuff for his son to build the temple, but he wasn't allowed to do it. Okay, tell me what you found out about the Nazarite vow. Uh, I think that's page 64. I was expecting a longer list. Me too. <laughs> me too. And yet, if I was supposed to keep it, I'm glad the, the, the list was it's... short. Yeah, Because <laughs> I could remember that. We <laughs> uh, had number time. six. Amos, what did you find out there? Well, that was voluntary. That's what I thought was interesting. That was voluntary. It was Good. Samson. It wasn't for Samson. Samson, Samson was, was not voluntary, right. But it says right. it was, you know, it was voluntary. Mm -hmm. And number six, they did some of the details about you know, consuming anything from the vine, any mm. part of anything from the vine. Right, right. And I'm assuming that means anything that grows on a vine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not yeah. just grapes. Yeah. Okay. Another thing I thought was noteworthy was it says not to go near a dead body, and then it says that if you do go near a dead body, like if somebody beside you dies, so you don't have a choice, but you accidentally touch them, you have to shave your head, start all go over start doing start start face, and everything you did before doesn't count. Right. Well, but Samson touched a dead body. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. A person. It does say a person. It says a person. Yeah, yeah. it's not an animal. Right. Yeah. Which, which I was like, okay, he never broke his vow. Mm. Okay, what, that's, a, what, that's what? a plus. But when he killed people with his hands, didn't he? When uh, he killed, like, killed them with a, with the, I mean, how would you me. not get touched by a dead person when right. you're killing all those people? Right. He killed them, then he took the clothes. So. We don't yeah. have the I mean, he touched the, he had the full clothes. I, it just seems. Right? It yeah, seems I, there very was so much weird. Stuff that I was like, this doesn't make sense. How but are you, they... touch, are you near a dead? Well, if you're touching. But it says if the person them, beside you dies. Like, this is what it specifically this is what says you have in the It says if the person beside you dies. Well, he had tons of people die. Yeah, because he killed so many. Because he killed them. Because he killed so many. And he killed them in hand-to-hand yeah. -hand combat. This isn't, he didn't have weapons. I kept thinking. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. They didn't have weapons. I kept thinking, God's ways are not mine. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's and right. I had a problem I'm with that kidding. and a problem with the wife. There was so like, much I had a problem with. I had a problem with the wife. I don't understand. And Shankar killed two without them having weapons. But, oh, he, but, but he was so not he a was Nazarite, though. School. He didn't have this vow. He didn't have that vow. According oh, to this vow, he had to cut his hair and start all over <coughs> right. if he touched it a body. Okay, but read what it says. Will not go near any dead person. That means they're dead if you go to them. Like they a die, you're there, not... I'm in the act of killing you. It said if the we person decides you know what the is going to be. That's true, and I always I also thought... What about if um, there was someone near and dear to him that died? He couldn't go there. Right. 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 Even yeah, if there was his parents. That's listed in it, too. It, no contact, even with none. your family, your, father, family, your mother, your sister, brother, that. that. <coughs> but it did say so that. So this is an after the fact. I think it is. It's an after the fact. It, it says, if, verse 9, if any man dies very suddenly beside him, and he defiles his consecrated head, then he shall shave his head, shave his head on that day of cleansing. If someone dies beside him, that's right. that's the person beside you dies. You killed the person beside you. That counts. Oh, on purpose. Right? <laughs> I, mean, right? the, the I don't have the answer for that. Yeah, lots of people suddenly died next to him. That's what <laughs> <laughs> By his hands. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. God. That's what verse 9. No, I, I agree. Said, no, I, I agree. There's a um, distinction there. I, really I just, do. I just think, again, he began to deliver, which would mean killing. Just yeah. Uh, as a Nazarite vow, someone dies next to him, he has to again. Remember, his God's instrument. 
Correct. To exactly. Do Correct. This. Yes. So that's a that can be a gray area, right? Mm -hmm. So and I, I understand that. I totally get that. Um, and again, like we talked about the wife thing, that's a gray area for me. I'm like, I know, what? Right. What? Why, Why are you there? But, well, never mind. Oh, You're not I, giving me that information, so. Yeah. Well, God says so in, in the scripture. There are types of weddings, certain marriages. Uh, let me show you, tell you what it was called. Oh, oh certain one. marriages? Bina marriage. Bina? Uh, bride stays with the parents and is occasionally visited by the husband with an expected gift. So Which he did bring the gift. Um, uh, the goat. Yeah. Uh, so in his head, he's thinking, I'm going to visit my new bride. And what? You gave her away. How about that? So. Because um, this, and what custom was that? Did it say? Oh, I have to look it up. Because it was a Jewish custom, but it might have been Philistine custom. How do you spell it? B-E-E-N-A, and that's a translation of whatever the original word was. Well, the Hebrew word. And I didn't write down the original word. Notice uh, Judges so, uh, 15 somewhere. So notice that in number six, it's only for a certain length of time. Mm -hmm. The Nazarite vow is only for a certain length of time. <clears throat> How long was Samson's? Lifetime. Lifetime. Forever. Yeah. For He never knew anything else. Right. Which is also easier. Okay. Um, you look it, up, it says Bina is a form of marriage used in pre Islamic Arab Arabic. That, that would go with Philistines. Yeah. So it's, yeah. That would totally go with that. <clears throat> we knew it wasn't Jewish. Um, his Nazarite vow was no razor on his head. I mean, I can't imagine how long his hair was. <laughs> I can't. Can't imagine. Well, she wove it into the, the loom, right? Yeah, that was long enough and pins mm -hmm. all yeah. over it. You know, that's that's what I wish the artists would do when they draw Samson. With, uh -huh. I mean, the hair should be like I think a tangled. <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> right? Rapunzel, 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 Mm -hmm. For life, yeah. forever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can't go near a dead person. And then, what about Amos two? Did you have to read that a couple times to go. Why am I reading that? When a Nazarite disobeyed God, it is not good. Yeah. No, no. But in Amos, were they following the Lord? No, because it says the Israelites made the Nazarites drink wine. Right. They didn't even care. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I know you're Nazarite, but here. There you go. Yeah. It's a feast. Everybody participates. No big deal. So they didn't take it seriously. No. They didn't honor it. And again, remember, Amos is one of those minor mm -hmm. prophets, which usually never has a very good message. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you're in Judges 13. He's a Nazarite for life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verses 8 to 19. Going into something else. Manoah. Oh, this was... I thought this was cool. Yeah. It's like, I have never been in this position before. How, teach us. Right. What are we supposed to do this right here? For the boy, not yeah. to the boy. Right. Yeah. But what are we supposed to do for yeah. him? The He's never been a daddy. An occupation. Exactly. When he's born, it's like, okay. What are, what are we supposed to do? Yeah. And we're not supposed to feed him anything from that. And then when he gets up, we're supposed to teach him. And, and then what? And then what? Yeah. Exactly. So that's every parent's question, though. Like hey, when yes. your kid is born, that's your yeah. first thing. What are you doing with it? God, what do you want me to teach him to be? What is this kid going to be? Yeah. Where am I leading? You know, what so do you true. want to do? So, so they've true. already been told that he's <clears> going to be a Nazarite. Well, what does that mean to us? Right. right. How do we We know fulfill? what it means for him. What does that mean for us? Right. That's a good question. Yeah. Also, good well, question. That these two were, they, they had faith. You can tell they had yes. faith. Back in yes. the time when there weren't many people of faith, there was a couple yes. that still was, I mean. Which I'm right. sure is why the Spirit of the Lord came, came the, or the angel of the Lord mm -hmm. came to them. He yes. always has a remnant. There but lacking some remnant. knowledge, yeah. though. Probably mm -hmm. the, this was common knowledge before. Now, without the, the correct daily teaching, they weren't familiar. Correct, and they they went maybe up for a fresher. Yeah. Um, <laughs> verse eleven. Are you the man who spoke to the woman? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> you mean my wife? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I am. Manoah said, Now, when your words come to pass, what shall be the boy's mode of life and his vocation? Mm -hmm. uh, these are great questions. Yeah. From yeah. a daddy, the, did the mommy ask that? No, oh no, I'm going to have a baby. I don't care whatever else you said. I'm having a kid and I am not there anymore. He's a Nazarite. Great. I just don't have to train Boy and vacation. What do I care about that? I'm having a kid. Back then, their sons were trained to be like them. If they had right. a son, it was going to. So he was willing to give up, like, whatever. This Maybe this kid's not going to follow my footsteps, but whatever God wants him. So it's a thing of faith. So it's there. a great it's, question. I'm not going to make him be what I am. 
So does he, does he repeat everything? He just says, let the woman pay attention to all that I said. And again, given her worth, given her worth. She should not eat anything from the vine, drink anything strong, drink anything unclean, let her observe all that I commanded. So it's like she knows what to do, you know. Um, he says, let us detain you so that we may prepare a young goat for you. So what's his response to that? <clears throat> Cook it, but I want not eat. I'm not going to eat it. No. I'm not going to eat it. Instead, what is he supposed to do? <clears throat> Offer to the Lord. an offering. Burn offering. Okay. Um, then he goes, where is that? When his appearance was very awesome. Oh, yeah. Which one do there were words coming past me to honor you, but the angel Lord said, Why do you ask my name? Yes. Seeing it is wonderful. So Manoah took the young goat with the great offering and offered on the rock to the Lord, and he performed wonders. What were the wonders? That's another thing I'm going, whoa, 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 where, What did he do? He performed wonders. Like what? God didn't want us he to know that. The Lord came when the, wind, when the flame went up to the altar of heaven that the angel ascended. So that might After be the he performed wonders. So it's like, so what were they? they? seen before. Oh, well. Um, maybe, he, maybe it caught fire on its own. Because you see that a lot in the Old Testament. That's true. Because it doesn't yeah. say they set fire to it. They put it on a rock. They put it on the rock. Mm -hmm. okay, they did do a sacrifice. So they did exactly what the angel of the Lord told them to do. I loved it that his name was wonderful uh -huh. and he performed wonders. Mm -hmm. I loved that. Because uh, what, what verse does that make you think of? Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah. Wonderful right? counselor. Counselor. Mighty God. That just takes you right there. Uh, in fact, in your Bible, I would definitely put that as a cross-reference. Yeah. King James Version, yes. My name is Secret. Oh. Um, and looking up some of this stuff, it's uh, my name absolutely, is Secret. supremely wonderful. And it just describes the character of his name. Supremely wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love that. There's no doubt this is Christ. There's yeah. just no doubt this is Jesus. Um, and when, so, again, when, it, when the flame came up, there went the angel of the Lord. Gone. Okay, so what's Manoah's response? We're going to die. We're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> is that Mrs. Manoah? I'm having a kid. This is what's happening. We are not dying. And calm down. Right, the calm king's going to kill us. We've done already. Uh, I can hear me saying this today. Right, right? Yeah. It's like, <clears throat> take a chill pill. We're not going to die because we the angel of the this, Lord told me I'm going to have a kid. Did you not hear that? I can't be dead and have a kid. Okay. Um, you had to look awesome. up Angel of the Lord. Oh, so go ahead. It's verse 6. Very awesome. awesome. Thank verse you. Six. Thank you. I knew it was there, but I was like, I don't know. Um, you went to Judges 2 5 when you're looking up Angel of the Lord references. Okay. All the way back to chapter 2. Tell me some things. That's page 64 of your homework. Tell me some things you wrote down about the angel of the Lord. Keeping in mind, this is Christ. He can travel from place to place. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I brought him out of Egypt. However, wherever, whenever, however fast he wants to go. <clears throat> he speaks. He speaks. And he people can hear him. So he's in a body of some kind. Yeah. Yeah, somehow you can see him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say he has wings. Oh yeah, you he, know, has form. he has form. He got what you said. He brought him up out of. Did you think of that? He's the one that brought him from Israel, <laughs> or from Egypt, and led him into land. But he is because, like Brother Eric said, that's what we read in Judges too. He swore a covenant to their fathers. <clears throat> what was that? I will deliver you from Egypt and have a place for you to go. Exactly. <clears throat> this is your land. How long? Forever. 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 Mm -hmm. Forever. We're sticking Christ into this covenant here. We mm -hmm. always think God and the Holy Spirit. This is the angel of the Lord. Okay. He was to be obeyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> he drove out their enemies. He went before them and fought and drove out their enemies. What kind of characteristics does that give you of Christ then? Mm -hmm. We don't think of him as a warrior, but when he comes back, what's he doing? He's leading That's when I think of him as a warrior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, He already is. Mm -hmm. He already is. Uh, Judges 5. Why was uh, Meroz cursed? Because they didn't step up to help. 
they didn't help Israel. Could have, but if I remember, if I remember Kego, they just kind of pulled out their lawn chairs and looked out and go, this is a pretty good war. I think we'll sit here and watch this for a while. <laughs> when they could have helped, they didn't. I don't want to be cursed by the angel of the Lord. Uh, Judges 6, next appearance. Gideon. Gideon. Did Gideon know who he's talking to? No. Nope. No. Where is Gideon when he gets appeared to? He's in the, <laughs> the wine press doing what? Freshing wheat. Freshing his wheat. Yeah. It doesn't he's work hiding. so well. He's hiding. He's hiding. Oh, valiant warrior. <laughs> well, it made sense because, I don't know if you remember back then, it told later in that chapter how his family had been massacred. So, yes. I mean, yeah. Oh, the, the fear was total crazy. sense of why he was hiding. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I've been right there with him. Yeah, but isn't that interesting? I always love that that he doesn't come in condemnation. I mean, Gideon shouldn't have been there, but he understood why he was there, so he met him where he was, and he called him a valiant warrior. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, valiant warrior hiding in, yeah, not so much. Oh, yeah, this is who you are. You, you, don't, you don't see it yet. yet, you just don't know it yet, right. Um, but as with Manoah and his wife too, they didn't know who they were talking to. They had no idea that was the angel of the Lord. They just knew he was awesome. He looked like something they'd never seen before. So he obviously has a different appearance, obviously. Plus the angel of the Lord listens to what we say mm -hmm. because in the angel of the Lord's response, it addresses what he said. That's true. Well, his questions, question and said. that's true. They just have a dialogue. So there's a world. conversation, right? That's you know, they, so true. They did know this person was sent. Yes, God. they did. They did know that. They did. Mm -hmm. They just didn't realize who it was. Exactly. It was just an angel. No, it's an angel of the Lord. It's like undercover boss. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like that. The first appearance, they thought it was a prophet. <clears throat> that's why, okay. the way they put the first appearance, that's how weird we were talking about it. Because again, because he said the way he be... prayed is to send the man of God back to us. Is right. That, that there was a prophet, prophet man of God. Them. So they were wanting the prophet to come back and visit again. So when he was speaking, there was what do you think they heard? He doesn't talk like anybody else. Yeah. Um, if he's a prophet or the man of God, well, this is not general your conversation everywhere. I so. think that's one of the reasons that they were frightened. I've not heard that before. I've Agreed. not seen that before. Agreed. Yeah. And you know, Manoah asking him, what are we supposed to do for the child? Knew he had the answer. Yeah. Right. He wasn't he wasn't asking somebody, do you, do you know what we're supposed to do with this guy? Oh no, you're gonna tell us we're gonna have him. Yeah. This is his Nazarite vow, so give us instructions as he's grown up of what we're supposed to do with him, because obviously you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This was not a a, a Google search. This right. was why, um, right. That's why he asked him, "Are you the man who spoke to the woman?" There you go. Because Second, you are, the same guy. Then, then I don't know what question I need to ask. There you, you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Verses twenty-four to twenty-five. How does the chapter end? <clears throat> she gives her. Yay! So God's word is fulfilled. fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So next to the verse where He promises. Cross-reference, 24 and 25. It happened just like God said. Okay, Samson's born. Yep, it says he also grew up. And he was he blessed by the Lord. And yep. he grew up. So, to what age? I don't know. I don't know. We've got to think he's in his midlife. He's got to be past, we'll say 13, 15, something. He's got to be past that. I think by the time he dies, he's probably <clears throat> maybe into his 50s. 50s. Maybe. I was thinking 40s. Yeah. But still. The spirit of the Lord began to stir him. What does that look like? If the Philistines ruled for 40 years, and there's 20 years in there, he's a judge, and he's 50 when he dies, that means God called him before he was overruled by the Philistines. But it says in there that we're, he's going to deliver him, begin to deliver from the hands of the Philistines. So it seems like they already know that the Philistines are ruling. I Well, that's a good point. I'm, I'm, yeah. To they me, I'm thinking, years. here's a 40-year period, and you have a judge for half that time. I don't, he, but he judged for 20 years. So it's hard for me to know how old he was because you can't judge when you're one. Right. No. But he only judged for half the 40 years. But so he wasn't I, a normal judge know. anyway. Did he do anything a normal judge? It doesn't seem like he led Israel in any way of a judge. He never says. I mean, it says he's a judge, so we can't say he's not a judge, right. but he doesn't actually do anything to point people to he God is or set apart. justice. Or a he is totally set apart from any other judge that there is, and he's the last one. And maybe he's a judge because the purpose of the judge was 
to deliver, and God's purpose for using Samson was to begin, begin. the process yeah. of deliverance. There you go. That made the judge. There you go. Yeah. 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 By the definition, we looked at the last week, a judge, it was all the deliver. stuff of chief, of his chief, of his commander, it was, it was leading stuff. But deliver deliver was does the key. But deliver is, is a key, key word. Key. That's true. Yeah. We're and not even that referred was, to as a judge until towards the end of exactly, our reading. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Uh, 15, yeah. 14, 15, it said he judged 20 years. Yeah. And at the end of 16, I think it said he judged 20 years. Judged. Yeah, it did say it twice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, theme for chapter 14. We've got to have wife in here somewhere. I yeah. Samson's Otherwise, wife. we're just throwing it out because wife's got to be in here. <laughs> wife and a riddle because I thought the and a riddle. riddle was pretty Good. significant because yeah. it led to the killing it of, did. Her. of her. Yeah. This is the only wife yeah. that mentions either. It never says he marries That's her. Correct. Girl, so yeah. This is his wife. That's correct. That's correct. Get her, you know, get her for me because she looks good. Because she looks good. That was her qualification. And that <laughs> she looks good. Okay, but I'm gonna make a comment here. Where was his family and the word discipline right. growing up? Right? Because it's a boiled brat. Right? That's what I looked at. And you can't help but come out. Can't help but come out. This is this is who. He, but, he's, but his parents didn't know he was about the lion, lion in the vineyard no, thing, and they knew he was blessed by. And you you have to assume that they told him about God because they were oh yes. yeah yeah. So it's a whole he thing. Knew. You can teach he your kid right, but it does not mean they're going to turn out. Right. If he's a Nazarite, who is he set apart for? God. 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 So he had to be taught the Lord. Yeah. He had to be taught why he was. Now, Samson, we don't drink that, and we don't do that, and we're never going to cut your hair. And why? Well, he had to know the whole story. Well, the kids can get their hair cut, you know, right? seeing how perhaps other families right. live. And so everybody else knew yeah. his vow, yeah. because yeah. well, he's true. different. It, something else that come up when, when the father has to ask, what are we supposed to do with this kid? Right. Uh, if, if someone came to, to me and said, you know, which happens every day with us, don't let your kids do this. Don't give your kids that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Right. Uh, I'm afraid what what I should do, you know. So and tenden- that you have that tendency to, <laughs> to let them go. Don't 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 don't. You know. But what's the do do do? I know the yeah, don't don't don't. Exactly. What if I do do do? And this? it could have easily That's happened good. that way. Yeah. They they were in fear of doing something wrong. So yeah. Instead of <clears throat> doing something wrong and dying. And I didn't have the angel of the Lord come to tell me, and you're going to have a <laughs> right. son, and he's right. going to be Nazarite now, and he's going to begin to deliver the food. So he made yeah, it. I didn't know. Okay. He, he was spoiled. Only because they weren't sure what else to do. Right. <laughs> well, but you know he knew about God. Because after he killed the thousand with the donkey jawbone, he said when he was thirsty and he was mad, he, he said, calls to the Lord. God, you have given this great Correct. deliverance by your hand of your servant. So Correct. he knows that it's from God's power. So yep. he does have that This power. is a cool thing, too, in that um, growing up as a kid, I thought his strength was in what? His hair. His hair. But it's not. Nope. No. I'm like, it turns the in the Lord. Man. Just, that just goes right along with the David and Goliath. Finish the story. He knocked him down, but he also hacked his head off yeah. with Saul's sword. Giants. Yeah. Let's finish the story. Yeah. This one was like, oh, man. Yeah, that's how, that like finish. Four. This is where I want to go. Um, thank you. He has a wife. Yeah. He kills a lion and 30 men in Ashkelon because he has to pay for his you know, riddle reveal. Yeah. Um, he goes to Timnah. He sees a Philistine woman who looked good to him. Now, I want you to understand, looks good to me is right in my eyes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the same thing. Mm-hmm. We go to chapter 17 to 21. Every man did what was right in his own eyes. Right in own eyes. Yeah. This is what Samson is doing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, and then <coughs> verse 4 kind of helps too. Correct. Yes. His father and mother did not know... That Ooh, marriage Lord. thing was of the Lord. Of the Lord. Now, yeah. Delilah wasn't. The harlot wasn't. Mm-hmm. doesn't say that. No. But it says this marriage mm-hmm. was of the Lord. They didn't know. Mm-hmm. If you want to put cross-references um, to looks good to me, I know you barked it twice in 3 and verse 7, but it's also in chapter 17, verse 6, and chapter 21, verse 25. Because, like I say, when you finish and you get out of judges, you forget all these little nuggets. In, in verse four, it also the mother, but father probably didn't agree with it the way it works. It you know that they didn't know it was from the Lord. They probably yeah. weren't for it. They were probably no. just agreeing with it. Well, I mean, he well, he even asked, what? "Why can't you, can't you just marry one of the Israelite yeah. women?" Right? Okay. Right. Um, okay, and then the young lion comes down. Now, verse six, the spirit of the Lord came upon him. Right. <clears throat> 
Mightily. Mightily. <laughs> now, most of the time we read that, don't we? The Spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily. There is one that will come upon that doesn't say that. And it doesn't say that the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, but he does a mighty act. Okay, verses 5 to 14. That's all about what? Killing the lion. Right, and then what happens to the lion? Bees make a hive. Bees make a hive. I found that. I'm still trying to figure out why this was included. <laughs> now, I'm like, well, how long does it take for the lion to decay? For the yeah. bees? I don't know. So how for the bees to come, that? for the honey to make. And that would explain, in their culture, possibly, a uh, um, time of betrothal. If you had to hang around yes. long enough. Yes, which is the only reason I was thinking God put that time thing in yes. there. Because decay in a desert where they are. I would think it would be pretty quick. Would you be, would think. Yeah. Would okay? Be but moisture yeah. is what makes decay. Well, they are in a vineyard, too, and they do water the vineyards. But so, but, but either way, we know the lion is decaying. And yeah. bees decide to make a honeycomb in the carcass of the lion. lion. So you got to think this is a bony lion. We don't have... <laughs> yeah. He's dead dead. Okay? It, does, it does say carcass. Which means there could be nothing left. There could be but the nothing skeleton. left but the skeleton, which yeah. would be perfect. And then these, right. just, you know. yeah. And so he goes and he gets some honey, and he gives to his parents. His parents. Is there anything wrong with that? They do have no. buzzards in Israel. <laughs> they have buzzards everywhere, right? Well, Jimmy, I, thought I just thought it was an act of the Lord. I didn't think all this waiting and waiting. Well, I just it, thought it was an act of the Lord to put it, it there. Because it is. Because in case, so, and, I'm what right do you away. think that did to Samson when he kills this lot? Line. Okay, we read that. Back up the truck and just have a seat for a minute. Think about this lion with this huge mane, and he is running at you. Mm -hmm. Samson is not running away. The Spirit of the Lord mildly comes upon him, and he I, I, I think I probably would have fainted just to think of the lion running at. If, have you ever been in the presence of a lion in the wild? Yeah. Scariest thing ever, 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 ever. Because it's like, is he happy? Is he hungry? Is he, mm, I don't know. It's like I think it would get in the car. Right, because you don't, you don't know. This, this thing is obviously running after Samson. Samson, he's targeted Samson. He's Samson, well, Samson kills him because of the strength of the Lord that's on him. What do you think that did to Samson? Mm -hmm. it, it, it does say young lion. It does say young so lion. So we do have to think that he's probably well, not. Still, uh, so we just be pointed still, out that he's still a lion. Yeah. I was kind of like, why did God send the lion in the first place? So you know God sent the lion, right? Of I mean, course. He had to, right? So well, Samson we just be pointed out and said that he was in a vineyard, which he shouldn't have ever been in the first place. The lion not, should have never been in the vineyard? No, Samson should have been in the vineyard. He was in the vineyard. His parents didn't know he was in the vineyard, which is another reason he probably shouldn't have been. But the vineyard was grapes and wine, and that's what the vineyard, why else was he in a vineyard? And of course, this is Wearsby. That's Weersby. where I am. I'm taking a shortcut. Yeah, Wearsby yeah. said that you know, the lion was possibly sent by God to you know tell him, hey, you probably need to get away. You're not supposed to be here. That was that's reaching. That, I think it's, it's reaching. reaching too because I don't think. It's <laughs> but I love Wearsby. In the so I'm like, yeah, no. But if that's really reaching, because again, he's never he never broke his vow. No, he did not break his vow. Okay. Just because he's there doesn't mean he's eating out of it. He's he has not broken his vow. Plus, the spirit of the Lord came upon him when he needed it, right. which was the lion's gonna kill you. And it no, it's not. Indicates that the vow's intact. Yes. Yes. Good point. The spirit of the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's and right. He wasn't going to the vineyard. He was going with his mother and father to Timnah and got as far as to the his vineyard. Wife. If you read what it says. There you go. Okay. And came as far as. Okay. Oh, see, that's good yeah. too. The bottom line of this is if he hadn't killed the lion, hadn't been honey, and he wouldn't have had a riddle. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and why have a riddle in the first place anyway? That riddle's just, just pride, though. His pride. He, he did yeah. something yeah, that he doesn't, pride. you know, he, he wants yeah. to brag about it, but he doesn't yeah. want to tell people exactly what he did. But again, I don't I don't want to read stuff into his character that isn't obvious. Mm -hmm. We can speculate all we want because people mm -hmm. look at my life and go, well, she just does that because of, and then she just does that one. And that's not true at all. Mm -hmm. But that's what they think because that's what they're looking in. This is the only information we have. Mm -hmm. We have no expression. We have, uh, this is like a text. We have no heart. No one's it. talking. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they're putting the emphasis on. It's like, it's like mm -hmm. so be careful what you put onto it.
Okay. Anybody else think about the fact he reached in and grabbed honey out of a honeycomb? Like, I would not reach my hand into bees. Did that anybody else really think about? Like, <laughs> well, if he's not afraid there. of a lion. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah right. Good point. Good. He's not afraid of the lion. He's um, not afraid of the bees. True. The lion and the honey were the basis for his riddle. Why a riddle? I, I, God, maybe God was, who, what, when, where, why, and how? He's, that's just one of those things that's just blank. Because God was looking for a way to stir up the Philistine. Okay. So this is Samson's way of stirring up the Philistine. Because so wow. that goes back to why he had his wife, because the Lord was looking for an end. Um, an 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 yeah. an that's very things. possible. That's very possible. Uh, okay, he's got a seven-day marriage feast. Right. They are married. We're just going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. They're married, period. Yeah. I don't, I'll have a lot of answers to why was it there and why is she there and why, why was she given to the companion and I'll have, I don't know. But 30 companions were brought to Samson from where? Yeah, really. From the Philistines. Yeah. Probably from the Philistines. Yeah. Yeah. Because it wasn't his family because they were brought to him at the feast where the wife is so they got to be Philistines. So this, okay? Okay. Uh, he presented his riddle, riddle and after three days they still oh, couldn't yeah, solve it. Was, yeah. Right? Right. How long is the feast? Seven. 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 Can okay. I add something uh, back a little bit? Yes. Uh, apparently it was tradition uh, for the groom to bring his own you know, group of 30 men as, as bodyguards and guards over the wedding feast. Oh, he didn't do that. For, for uh, the gifts and whatever else to be guarded. And, wow. Uh, That's interesting. That is and interesting, and he didn't do that. For some reason he didn't bring his own, so the Philistines provided. Uh -huh. Or oh. the father. Wasn't that the nice. Right. <laughs> provided 30 guards. Hmm. He didn't know the custom. Well, and he's also amongst the enemy. And he's in. And they're friends. Yeah. And, and they're friends. And companions who are friends. Right. And right. Right. They're all buddy buddies. Now go back to. Um, he gives him the riddle, right? Mm -hmm. uh, verse fifteen. Then it came about on the fourth day that they said to Samson's wife, "Entice your husband, so that he will." Oh, she already know. They already know that she knows how to entice her husband. Yeah. Or they wouldn't. <laughs> okay, that's a character quality. Um, he will tell us the riddle, or we'll just burn you and your father's house down. And let me add something to, since you're talking about enticing, notice that in verse 1 it says, saw a woman. It doesn't say virgin or maiden. Correct. It's a woman. Yeah. It's just a woman. Yeah, so what Good. Was, yeah, what's her yeah, history? Yeah, what's, what's her little history? Okay. Oh, so um, have you invited us to impoverish us? Why? Why would they be impoverished? Because they're going to have to give up money and goods. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. exactly. Yeah. Because that's the price of the riddle if you lose. Are you right. scheming with him to rob us? There you yes, go. That's what okay. So his wife wept before him. You only hate me. You don't love me. You have prompted, propounded a riddle to the sons of my people mm -hmm. and have not told it to me. And he said to her, I, I even told it to my mom and dad, right? So why should I tell you? He's not telling anybody. However, she wept for him how long? Seven the whole days. seven days. The whole seven days. Why is she weeping from day one? Right? Right? That's what I'm like, but uh, why? Seven. No wonder he left. Yeah. yeah. Really. <laughs> she was needy. She was needy. And on the seventh crying. day, he we told her because? What did I get myself into? Here's the enticing. Because she pressed him so hard. I know. Oh, so, good at <laughs> So, <laughs> so then she told her people, right? Yeah, he's fine. Right. He's that. that twice. Right? Yeah. Right? He doesn't but again, in the video, <laughs> Kay is going to bring out what always got him in trouble. Yeah. Sex. Women. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Sex. She's fighting for her life, though. She is. Because they threatened to she kill is. her. So she has a reason to cry. So, yeah. Because I mean, she's going to die I'd be pretty upset if too. they don't get it. Man, I better get this. Or right. Bad. Yeah. And well, that's she just tell him, though. If she really yeah. actually, like, you know, if my husband was in that situation, I'd tell him, hey, they're going to kill me if you don't tell me this And my dad. Then Samson might just got to kill them and been done with it, you right. know? Like, right. she doesn't even trust him to actually take care of her. Yeah. That's true. That's yeah. why what I would have told my I, husband to let him take care right? of her. She trusts know? her people more than she more trusts than she her trusts husband. Her husband. Okay? So the men of the city said to him on the seventh day before the sun went down, what is sweeter than honey and what is stronger than a lion? So what does he do? He knows where he came from. He knows? Uh-huh. So where does he go to pay for the riddle? <laughs> he goes to their people. Ashkelon. Do you see how far away that was? Yeah. <clears throat> on the on the map, 
He went okay. smack into the heart of their country. Yes, basically. he did. Wearsby said he went far enough that they wouldn't find out about the deaths until he was out of there. Is right. what Wearsby said. Out of thirty oh, deaths oh. until he was out of there. That's what Wearsby said. I was like, but unless he's really fast, how would they not get back first? Yeah, I didn't agree with that one either. I yeah. was kind of like, no. Huh? That's, that's weird. Because how in the world, unless he's extra fast, doesn't say he's fast. Says he's strong. So. And that could be two different things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then verse nineteen. The Spirit of the Lord came upon him how? Mightily. Mightily. And that enabled him to kill the 30 guys in Ashkelon and bring back his dead. Hmm. But does that change Samson's wife? No. Mm. Nope. She's given to his companion, which they said uh, in some things, in some versions it said his best man. Yeah. It's like, oh my God. But it doesn't say Samson gave it. She was no, given. No, well, she was given. The she daddy. Was given by because the daddy father. said he did it. He yeah. thinks he's still married. So remember, he began to deliver Israel from the Philistines. He's, mm-hmm. he's not completing the job. Okay. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. Uh, Judges 15. Okay. Uh, theme. Liar, liar. Pencil. <laughs> 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 I love it. And it's like, oh, 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 that's where the foxes were, liar, liar. Oh, that's that, that chapter. I love that. That's great. That's great. Now, did you get a picture of that, too, with the foxes? and the, Oh, yeah. Have you, have you ever seen a fox? Because they're shocking. Yeah. Their nose is so long, and their teeth are so sharp and out there. Everybody, you know, in, in cartoons, they're like this soft, fluffy tail. Yeah, and they have this, like, whoa, they're scary. They, and they can do they're some vicious. damage to you. They're vicious, they're vicious. and they'll eat your chickens in a heartbeat. And yeah. your dog and your cat and fox, whatever. Like that. And they're sneaky Quick. as a fox, right? Mm-hmm. There. Yes. How does he get that many? Yeah, we had that discussion. <laughs> Dad and I had that discussion. What does that even mean? Hurting foxes. So maybe maybe like hurting cats. <laughs> maybe he was fast. <laughs> maybe he was fast. Yeah, right. God's like, ways are not my ways. Yeah. You know, really just smart, which I think we do see indications of a really Clever. strong intelligence. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. how do you. The ability to come up with a riddle takes a lot of But think of about how fast mm-hmm. you could get rid of the grain like that, too. Oh, yeah. How else can you. I didn't think of that. Right. Create a massive fire right. quickly. Yeah. Quickly. Just boom. Right. All right. the gone. On your enemy's field. Yeah. Not not your yeah. field. Yeah. You just have to go on this field. And by the time you get to the end, you're going to be burned up again. Anyway. <laughs> the fox is going to be. Okay, so that's what Weersby oh said. The same word for fox is the word for jackal. I couldn't remember what it was. Jackal. And I just looked it up. That is, it is the same word in Hebrew. What's a jackal? <laughs> yeah. Is that jackal. Right? No, 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 it's a rap- no. What's a jackal? It's, just, it's, it's like a, a wild cat. cat. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, jackal, jack, jackals are easier to catch, and they and they travel in big groups, so getting 300 of them will be a lot easier. Really hard for him to try yeah, to catch that's them. what and I was reading too. Yeah, that's what that's what we're. Which are say. smaller? Mm-hmm. They're just easier. To catch. What's the easier? Catch? And they they travel. So it's there's, so. There's and they travel. Yeah, because fox don't travel. They travel in packs of like 200. It would be which is fox or jackal? Two hundred. Yeah, they oh, pa- travel from what, I, from what I read. So if he like was able to get a pack of them, that would. That's what we were saying too. Was that he believes this? Okay, so fox that fox. makes more sense. Because I'm thinking, how does he keep the fox from biting him while he's tying the fire? Either their way, tails? it's a so, phenomenal. Right. Yeah, it's <laughs> cool. like, yeah. And but who thinks that's that? Again, let's go back to that thought. Who thinks that up? Jackal. Wow. You have a jackal. A jackal looks like a, it's like a wild dog. Here's a picture. That's Slender, long-legged oh, wild dog that feeds movie. on carrion game yeah. and fruit and hunts cooperatively. That's the thing. They, they live in huge cool. packs. He looks almost so, like a coyote. He could have, that would have been cool. Cool from what I read. So, okay. Yeah. Why are our pants on fire? That's a good thing. <laughs> uh, what else is in there? The fox's tails. What else is happening? Torches. Yeah, torches. Yeah. And we got to put how many Philistines are killed because, you know, we're getting a tally here. Because mm-hmm. we got 30 from Ashkelon. Mm-hmm. And now right. we got a thousand. thousand. We don't know. But with right. the Fox one, it says that there was a great slaughter. It doesn't tell us how many. Um, the the thousand thousand was a lot of people, but the jawbone is a thousand. Yes, but this one right. we don't know how many. No, we have don't. no clue what great slaughter was. But they're doing to the Philistines what the Philistines have been doing to them in destroying mm-hmm. their fields. Yep. There goes their harvest. Their tails are kind of like a, the fox tail. They're fluffy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yep. 
practice. But Jack but was a more prevalent to that. To yeah. that. that we area. think foxes yeah. are pretty rare. There's more of, pictures here. Regular fox. I thought like we think of. Like we think of a fox. Right. We used to be right. said the reason right. he tied them to together by the tail to the torch is because of just their tails on fire, they go running for their home, for the, like a safe place. But by having which them tied together, together right. they were having to fight, which made them kind of go around the fields and put everything more to fire. What a picture. It had them, because they're like fighting each other as they're running, because they're. I've never seen any artists do that. I that would be very cool. Here's <laughs> the big yeah, yeah, got fire going. To, like, that was smart to be able to figure out if you tie them together, they don't run straight. They You're fight right. each other. I'm telling you, the guy is smart. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was impressive. And he doesn't just burn their grain, mm -hmm. their vineyards, mm -hmm. right, and their groves. So, again, he is beginning to deliver Israel from the Philistines. He's hitting them where it hurts. But God's using the not so great situation to do it. Right? Like, you wonder if Doesn't he, just he got always do that? Like, and actually taken rallies of troops and fought Philistines if it would have gone differently? It could have. <laughs> it could have. We're doing good. What's verse 3 say? Samson then said to them, This time I will be blameless in regard to the Philistines when I do them harm. I will. Yeah. This time I'll be blameless. This time. Okay. Mm -hmm. He wasn't blameless the other time. Well, Maybe he, he doesn't consider himself blameless. Right? That's his opinion well, of himself. Yeah, I mean, when he went out and killed 30 guys and took their clothes, yeah, that was kind of... Right. He lost I had to fulfill my bet. I don't have it with me, so let me yeah. just take it from that those guys. That was kind of on yeah. him, but here, he's taking revenge because of what they've done. Right. Okay? And revenge. That is a theme throughout. 13 through 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, revenge because of what? Because of what the father-in-law did. Modern Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When they burned his, burned their house. Right. And killed, killed his wife, killed right. his father-in-law, and all those people. So. <laughs> well, this was before that. that this is just by this, 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 this revenge is just after his father-in-law gave his wife to somebody yeah, right. else. Verse. Uh, let's family. see. Verse seven. Samson said to them, "Since you act like this, I will surely take revenge on you. But after that, I will quit. <laughs> no more revenge, unless you poke my eyes out. Oh uh, yeah, then I might." Does revenge ever stop? No. 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 I mean, if you grew up in West Virginia, it's like, or if we went to the Hatfields and the McCoys, why? Because that's what we do. It never stops. Why? Because this is what we do, because revenge never stops. Mm -hmm. Generation after generation after generation. Okay? Um, so, verse 9, Philistines go up and camp in where? Yeah. <sighs> They just camped out there. Judah. Right? They were and the there's a lot of them. Say, we'll go first. They were. They oh. were. That's their history. And they're like, oh, what, what, are, you, what are you doing here? Well, how can we help you? Let's okay. appease, right? We don't want to fight. Yeah. So why have you come up against us? And they said, we've come up to bind. And bind was a key word, too. Mm -hmm. In order to do to him... As he did. To, uh, oh, well, here's revenge again. Okay. Um, how many men did Judah go to get Samson? Three Get one guy. Did you say overkill? <laughs> but you're like. Well, let's see. Why? Why did they need, think they need that many? Because he's already killed thirty guys. Then, after these people go in and kill us father-in-law and wife burn their house, this is when he takes revenge on them with a great slaughter, and he says, okay, right. I'm, you know, I'm done with this part, so I am leaving. So he's got, the word's kind of gotten out about Samson. This is a bad dude, and he's already killed a thousand by himself. Well, what's yeah. interesting yeah, is these right. Judah people okay. are willing to turn over with their own With a jawbone of mass, he's already killed a thousand. Not yet, yeah. right. They're turning yeah, over their own brothers. That was chapter 14. Or this is chapter 15, this sorry. Chapter 15, yeah, right. killed yeah. All right. So he's already killed. I've already read it. It hasn't he's, happened. Right. He's already killed a bunch of people before, right. before this. That's why he goes up and leaves. <clears throat> then the Philistines come in after him. That's right. the, then they send the 3,000 men to get sent. This is just, you do this to me, I'm going to do this to you. You do this to me, I'm going to do this to you. Revenge, 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 revenge. revenge. But Judah's turning in their own brother, their own oh, Israelites. I know, of I hated instead that. Of fighting, instead of being like, hey, Samson, we're with you. Let's go kill these Philistines off of our we'll land. Just give you saying, one hey, we'll just give you over, and then we'll be okay, and they'll leave us alone. We'll go back to being under them, but still living okay. There you but go. Look what, yeah. the, look what the Jews said to Samson. We are doing this because... Do you not know that the Philistines are rulers over us? Yes. What then is that that you have done? As they did to me, so I have done to them. 
they said to him, we have come down to bind you so that you may, we may give you into the hands of the Philistines. And Samson said to them, just swear to me that you're not going to kill me. Mm-hmm. That's all he wanted. Yeah. Well, he had a plan. He knew what was going to sure happen. Sure he did. <laughs> so they said to him, no, but we will bind you fast and give you into their hands, yet surely we won't kill you. So they did bind him with two new ropes and brought him up from the rock. What do you know about new ropes? They're very, very hard to break. They're very strong. They're very hard to very break. Strong. Right, right. Okay. So Judah really thinks they're handing over Samson. They totally. They're not, you know, Samson's got a plan. But so Judah thinks that they're right. giving over their brother for And people. everybody's going to be happy. But That's what they think. God's got a plan. There you yeah. go. Because yeah. verse 14 Samson says, when he came to Lehi, the Philistines shouted as they met him. A war cry, I'm guessing. Yeah. And the spirit of the Lord came upon him how? Mightily. Mightily. Is it strength in his hair? No. It's the presence of the Lord. It's the presence of the Lord. Well, what's crazy to me is that keeps blessing this guy. It's not giving him praise. It's not like calling for God. Hey, God, please help me fight. You know, right. you have all these right. great people in the Bible that call for God before they go. Before and this he's great thing happens. He's not even going down and saying, hey, God, what do you want me to do? Like, he's, mm-hmm. he sure. doesn't even acknowledge him. So God keeps blessing him. Um, oh, so that his arms were as flax that is burned with fire, and his bonds dropped from his hands. No matter what. So who did that? Fear the Lord in that. Okay. But the long hair was the symbol. That was the symbol of his vow. Yes. Yes. Correct. And Correct. it set him apart, saying that was right. Samson, the Nazarite. That's right. Well, oh, he features. has a Nazarite vow. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. the only outward Correct. symbol of the vow. Right. The other two were inward. People don't right. know if you break the other two, but yeah. everybody's going to know the hair. Right. It's an outward symbol. symbol. Right. And, and sometimes um, it becomes outward if you're offered it the drink from the wine right. and the light. No. I don't care to eat that, or I can't eat it. It depends on his response. Mm -hmm. 3,000 men of Judah do to Samson what the Philistines had come to do to him. Okay? Uh, He comes out of the bonds and kills 1,000 men with a donkey's jawbone. His, in, his weapons are very interesting. And jawbones, very right? prominent. And it's a fresh jawbone, not yeah, right. It's dry and brittle, like the carcass of the lion. You know, mm-hmm. That's a fresh good one. point too. That's it's a good still point too. miraculous. Who provided the jawbone? God. Right there where he needed it when he yeah, needed we'll it. Put this here. Right here's my weapon. Good. Okay, verses eighteen. Two twenty. Oh, real quick, the sixteen his thing that the with the jawbone of donkey heaps upon heaps thing. Yes. According to Wearsby, the actual translation, it like perfect it, it, it plays with words and rhymes. It was very done by somebody very intellectual. Like if you actually look at the Hebrew and how the words rhyme and they plays on words that he used was very intellectual and like I think his first riddle was brilliant. Yes. The, but oh, yeah. Wearsby went on this whole thing just praising him for how like Smart knowing words. the Hebrew and how well this little tiny thing like I thought that was interesting was but I never would have thought about knowing Hebrew. Because with us it doesn't really rhyme, it doesn't really go anywhere. But it was this very He said something a lot about statement. his parents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. About his education and what well he was educated brought up. And yeah. Smart. Um, when he had finished speaking, he threw the jawbone from his hand, and he named that place Ramoth Lehi. Well, then he becomes very thirsty. He calls him, well, I think I would be thirsty after I killed a thousand with the jawbone yeah. of an ass. Yeah. So, and it was hot during the wheat harvest. Uh, there you go. He needs yeah. water. So who does he call on for water? The Lord. The Lord. Mm-hmm. He has a relationship with the Lord. Yes. Mm-hmm. He expects the Lord to totally answer and provide water. Okay? He gives God the credit mm-hmm. for the great deliverance here. He says, um, you have given this great deliverance by the hand of your servant, and now shall I die of thirst and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised? So God split the hollow place, right? He made water come out of it, and when he drank it, his strength returned. The credit is huge. Okay? And then it says, Samson judged Israel for 20 years. Just have a cross-reference there, 1631 because you verify yourself, okay? All right, um, we've already discussed that. When we began delivering Israel from the Philistines, that was only half the time that they wanted to do oppression of them, okay? All right, if you go to 16, what's your possible theme? Feared by warriors, conquered by a woman. I love that. <laughs> Say that again? Feared by warriors, conquered by a woman. Conquered by a woman. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. I just said more lies. 
more lies, more lies, deception. More, more women. women. Didn't I put that. Samson and Delilah in my title? Because that's the famous story. And then I said his weakness is downfall. So true. I feel like his weakness is pride. Like he he thinks he can hold out more. He can think, you know he knows kind of what she's doing to an extent. Like you can tell from the beginning, he knows that she's trying to find a secret and stuff. But instead of running or doing anything, he just keeps letting her. Oh, I can handle this. I can handle this. But see, that's where I don't go to pride. I go to women. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. He puts yeah. up with it, and he puts up with it because why? Because she's a woman. Uh-huh. Because she looks good to me. Mm-hmm. This is constantly, constantly, <coughs> constantly getting him into trouble. The eyes, right? Which is interesting how he ends up. Yes, exactly. Because in my eyes, and what happens at the end, his eyes, eyes are, are gone. gone. Yeah. Ooh, right. Which would also be a great cross reference to "She looks good to me." Mm-hmm. Yes. To go to the end of sixteen, yeah. to go. Mm. Wow. Yikes. Okay. Verses one yeah. to three. How does <laughs> how does that begin? A harlot. Samson goes to go and saw the see the harlot. You're right. And he went into her. When it was told to the Gazites, saying, Samson has come here, they surrounded the place and lay in wait for him because they think he's going to be there all night long, right? Uh, and then they're going to get him. Yep. But when does he leave? At midnight. midnight. Yeah. And what gates. does he take with him? The same gates. gates. <laughs> <laughs> the gates so he just takes them with him. This is at night. Midnight. It's dark. And you're yanking up gates, poles, pillars. You know, the iron bars, and you take them up onto the And mountain. they don't hear all the clanking right. and crashing. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are they? What happened to them that were laying in wait? Where did they where did they go? They're sleeping. I don't know. They don't go after them. These city gates were big, heavy things. They're this strict. was the midst. This is how they defend themselves. Maybe they had too much wine or whatever. <laughs> right? I, I, I don't know. It's like, but... So run. where are the guys that are laying in wait here? He's yanking up the gates and he's putting them on his shoulder and he's going up the mountain. I would run. What happened to the man in the little... Okay, he, he left. It's like... <laughs> where are you? It's a man. Never mind. But they're, they're laying at the city gates. They they're are. Right there where he takes oh, up the city gates. Okay. They can't have missed what happened. Their guard is down though because gates are locked at night and they think, well, this guy's not going to get out. The gates are locked, right? but they, they're underestimating this. And that protects the city. Yeah. Well, right. And yeah. God, what is God doing? What has he God done before? God closed his ears. <laughs> what? God closed their ears. It closed. Yes. Totally. Exactly. exactly. You know, it's just put them in a deep. I don't know. I just like this story. There was just so many. Remember, these gates are about two Funny stories parts. high. Yeah, they're huge. They're, they're and they're huge. heavy. And he carries them about. 40 miles. Right. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Up. 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 Up.
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I saw that movie. <laughs> um, the lords of the Philistines, how many are there? Five. Five. Okay. Came up to her and said to her, Entice him and see where his great strength lays and how we may overpower him. Then we may bind him to inflict him. Then we will each. Mm -hmm. Give you 1,100 pieces of silver. 5,500 pieces of silver. You'll be rich, 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 rich. Yeah. So she says to Samson, please tell me where your great strength is and how you may be bound. Now, has he been bound before? Yeah. Yeah. Does this seem to even faze him? No. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be phased either if I could just break two <clears throat> rope, like, okay, yeah, bind me, what do I care? That's not going to do anything. So he tells him one. Does that work? <clears throat> he tells her another one. Well, I thought it was interesting. He says, if they find me, he knows that she's telling people. Like, he knows that she's in the oh, It's her yeah. boots. Like, he, he, knows. Knows. he knows. He knows this isn't for her right? to find him. Well, he knows she's so trying to find out who the Philistines. Right. Yeah. Like, this is that proper seven man, though. This. This, yeah, this. this is right. This. Yeah. If they bound me, like, I already know that they're trying to get me. <clears> this is how you can do it. But he doesn't care. I think that's where his pride comes in. That's where, that's where, that's where I saw pride yeah. all the time. Through the whole thing, arrogance. I see pride, 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 arrogance. 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 So much arrogance. Okay. But, but how does he know that they're going to? I mean, she's saying this in play, and in the in the times that she comes up, or he comes up with all these scenarios, and she says, oh, this, the Philistines are upon us, but she never mm -hmm. has the guys But they never enter. turn out, yeah. So yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't so know. So still to them, it's like role play. But I mean, yes. he knows yes. that he's yeah. trying to get in from the beginning. He knows that they're after. Because they're he the knows Philistines. She's Philistines. Right. But so they don't change their color. Yeah. He's, he's right. blinded because of his lust and is trusting her. Yep. Question. When the men want to know something, do they go to Samson? <laughs> no. <laughs> they always go to his woman, whoever that happens to be at that point in time. Okay, that works. And it works every time. Every time. Both times, yeah. right? The results were devastating. The Philistines aren't dumb either. The they know how to manipulate yeah. this man. Okay? Philistines kind of learned his lesson point. when he She's killed a thousand of them. They don't come after him anymore with force. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, even they sent Judah to go after him. They did send men to him, but that was they sent the other people's men. They didn't send their right, own. Right. They sent Judah. You, you go get go. your own guy. Yeah. Like we're not going up there to get him. We're scared of him. You go get him. More, well, three thousand of them. Yeah. We'll yeah. kill you guys, or you. I give think us they were a little afraid myself. And these ladies are Philistines. Right. Uh -huh. so. Right. So. Right. Um, he wanted the woman he saw for his wife. He went into a harlot, mm -hmm. and now he loved a woman. Who betrayed him? So what keeps getting him into trouble? Women. Women. His choices. Women, women, and his choices. Yeah. In those women. Oh. When you looked at Proverbs it's seven, yeah. what'd you get? Page uh, seventy-one of your homework. The harlot. Yeah. 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 Describe of how the harlot operates. Good. Of how the harlot operates. Has that changed through the ages? <coughs> no. Not at all. No. <coughs> he was that man that was lacking sense. Okay? The, some commentaries say it's like a dog panting. <laughs> they look so stupid, but they don't know they look stupid. They just. It looks good to me, so let's go. It looks good to me, so Wait, let's go. Know what? This might lend credence to he really was young to be in this position that right. he was in because. They wanted him Younger to men tend to be a little silly. Have that. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Black All black. his women, like Satu said, were Philistines. Yep. What did God say about them? No, no. No. Hands off. And his daddy put that before him before he ever went right. to the first one. Okay. <clears throat> they enticed. They seduced. They deceived. They pressed him daily. What was that? So that his soul was way to death. That's a lot of nagging. That's pretty bad. Annoyed to death. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that's really in the Bible. It's really right there. Okay, well, that's a pretty bad nagging. Yeah. Okay. Um, you go to Judges verses 20, verse 23. And the story continues, right? Okay, what's different now? He's been captured. His eyes have been gouged out. His eyes, his yeah, eyes have always got him in trouble. His yeah. eyes, his eyes, his eyes. Okay? Yeah. Verse 24. 
Okay. It also renders you pretty useless as a warrior. Yeah, there's yeah. no more hand to hand combat. Yeah, you can't see what's coming. Mm -hmm. All right. What's his strength going to do for now? Uh, we'll just wait, right? Samson was taken to Gaza with no hair or eyes, uh -huh. or at least seeing eyes. Okay? Verse 20. She said, the Philistines are upon you. And he awoke from his sleep and he said, I will go out as the other times and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. Is his hair gone? <clears throat> Shaved. Yeah. Okay? But again, his strength was not in his hair. It was in his relationship with the Lord. The Philistines seized him and gouged out his eyes and they brought him down to Gaza and bound him with bronze chains. That was interesting. And he was a grinder in the prison. Now, what was usually used to grind wheat? Most of us. Right. Animals. Mm -hmm. But to make it go around. He's so around. weak. Um, okay, a reference that I was given was, where did I write it down? Uh, when a woman had thrown a millstone right. over the oh, edge yeah. of something mm -hmm. to kill somebody. Yeah. Jotham? Um, Jotham? So you? this millstone may not have been Definitely. very big. It could have been... Uh, a millstone that wasn't used by oxen pulling it along because uh, he was so weak he couldn't have. It's I mean, they even had a boy leading him around. Yeah, they had a boy leading right. him around. So he that's how he that was. Like, trust was, boy. Have you ever been to um, things like Kate's Cove and stuff like that? They have the wheat, no, I'm sorry, the gris, gris mill. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have the, it's just the path that the donkey just walks around and yeah. around. Yeah. So can you imagine the boredom? Around and around and, and you around. can't see. And, and you can't see and you just know you're just going around and around and around. And you used to be this mighty warrior. And now you're blind, grinding wheat for the enemy. Let's go let's go totally over and watch humiliated. Samson and laugh totally at him. Totally humiliated. Yeah. Let's Say go that watch again. Samson and laugh at him. Yeah. Yeah. Well you know they had to laugh and jeer at him because that's why he was there. Because yeah, right. he entertained them. Mm -hmm. They didn't say how he entertained right. them. Um However, the hair of his head began to grow again after it was shaved off. So time has gone by. Mm -hmm. Now the lords, how many of them? Five. Five. Of the Philistines assembled to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon their god and to rejoice. And they said, our god has given Samson our enemy into our hands. And when the people saw Samson, they praised their God, and they said, Our God has given our enemy into our hands, even the destroyer of our country. So Samson has a new name. Mm -hmm. The destroyer of our country, who has slain many of us. Well, yeah, he did. It so happened when they were in high spirits that they mm -hmm. said, Call for Samson that he may amuse us. This blind guy who's been grinding wheat, who's going to amuse them. It's cruel. So they called for Samson from the prison, and he entertained them. We don't know how. I don't know what he did. And they made him stand between the pillars. First mistake. Mm -hmm. Then Samson said to the boy who was holding <coughs> his hand, because like you said, he had to be led around, let me feel the pillars on which the house rests, that I may lean against them. Okay. That's good. Which shows that, that doesn't say he's going to do anything. Mm -hmm. Which shows what? Well, the weakness, perhaps, to those that are watching, you know. And oh, hard to that's good. Himself he, up. That's good. Do you think he knew his strength returned? I think he probably did. I don't think he, he was, has I don't think yet. yet. He, he, because he, he asked the Lord to give him one more. I think right. she, he had a plan. Oh, uh, I know he had a plan, yeah. right? Yeah. Going in his head. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, now, the house was full of men and women. And all the lords of the Philistines were there, and about 3,000 men and women were on the roof. That doesn't say how many were underneath the house. Uh, right, 3,000 okay. plus. Right. <clears throat> then Samson called to the Lord and said, O oh Lord God, please remember me and please strengthen me just this time. Is his strength in his hand? No. no. This is what I always grew up thinking. Mm -hmm. He's also not chained to these pillars. He's like not. He's like yeah, he always he's always not a threat. Yeah, yeah. No. He's not a threat. No. They don't see him as a threat. They have a little kid with They him. have an amusement. You know, let's see how much it's just like a, almost like a beaten down dog. Yeah. Okay. Oh God, that I may at once be avenged. Here's the revenge again. Of the Philistines for my children. That bothers me. I expected to say, God, let me be work used for you one more time. Let right? me do something right? for you, not right? avenge for my eyes. That's like, not that's what that's it said, is it? That bothered okay? me. Okay, but it showed how I get it. How good.
God's plan was still carried out, exactly. even though Samson's yes. reason for returning my strength was his own selfishness. Right. God said, I can use your selfishness. And your reason. Watch yes. this. That's right. I can yeah. use your reason to still do what I, I need I to accomplish. That's good. He called to the Lord one more time, and he killed all the lords of the Philistines, which were five. That we know. Talk about knocking out your leaders. Wow. <laughs> yes. Now, how? but does he die in the process? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And so is the little boy that's leading him. Yeah. And so all of the women and everybody up there. Yeah. So he killed more in his death mm -hmm. than he ever did in his life. Mm -hmm. Okay? And another wow. interesting thing is that his parents were dead at this point. Because it's his family, his, his family came to take his body. But it doesn't mention his family. And it says that he was buried by his dad. His brothers and all his father's household. Normally, the mother and father would be the one to come get the body, but they, he, they didn't. So that's how we know so that Manoah is. That's what we're going to say. Now, it definitely says that that's dead because he was buried in the tomb of his father. Tomb. Right. Yeah. But, but I don't know if it. But they had tombs set apart, just like Jesus used, used Joseph at Arimathea's tomb because. It wasn't being used at that point. You only needed it for three days. But so. we just said either either the parents were ashamed of him and didn't want to come, but the rest of the family came, so that doesn't make sense. Right. Or the parents were dead at this point because the parents should be the one who comes to the body. So what does that mean? He had brothers and sisters? Yep. <gasps> so he had more children. Right. Yeah. More kids. Right. Cool fact. It okay. Could be, it could be oh. tribal countrymen, though. That was one thing I read. Countrymen and not like tribal actually of the oh tribal. Okay, the Danites. That's what that's what Mirsby said too. Is he thought it was the yeah. Danites. So she only had one kid. I don't know. That's Did what he said that this was talking about. Don't know for sure. I don't know. I'd have to look up household. Yeah. Then his brothers, his brothers. Well, his tribal brothers. Is that what they're saying? Could be that it means tribal country. And all his father's household, which could have been servants. Yeah. Yeah took him up and buried him between Zorah and Eshel in the tomb of Manoah, his father. Thus he judged Israel 20 years. Okay? What do you find out about Hebrews 11? Did you think he would be in there? No. Uh -oh. I no. either. I either, but he is. How come he is? Because the Lord said so. He's a man of faith? If God calls him a man of faith, what is yeah. he? He's a man of faith. So it is written. So it is written. So let it be done. Yes, exactly. Right. right? He knew right. brother things that he did. He did. Were from God. He did. So the word brother he knew his strength totally came from God. God. He knew that. One more time, yeah. Yeah, and one more time, let me do this, and he, because he knew, he said one more time. He knew all the other times. Did you get God. brother yeah. from the that brother? Verse. Is the word act, mm -hmm. which is translated brother, companions, countrymen, fellow countrymen, kinsmen, relatives. So it could be all the above. Yeah. yeah. What about household? Above. Anything. Pretty vague. I'm looking that one. Okay, again, we always have to do application. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I got a lot of application from Samson. Stuff I don't want to do. Who I don't want to be. But am I? Mm -hmm. And who's ruling? And what makes me do what I do? And does God just need to use me, no matter what the reason I'm doing it for, he just needs to get past the reason to do what he needs to do. And we'll deal with your reasoning later. His father's house is father's father, and then house is just the the word house. It's the, the building and everyone's building. sign. So it could be servants. It could be anybody that lives in that house. Wow. It's the word for the physical building house. Right. 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 Anybody? Could what be. did you get yeah. for application? Because, again, you want, it, you want application. You know, I thought he was a really good example of making sure that you don't just follow your own desires, that you don't let the desires of our basic nature take precedence right. over where our focus should be. Where our focus should be. That you don't practice your own desires. Yeah, you know, exactly. Says, even though Unless they're the desires of your own heart, which is God's. You're yeah. going to do your own thing. Right. But as long as you just don't continue doing your own thing and, and, and then Leave and say no to God and saying yes I'm doing yeah. my own thing. Yeah. But to quickly recognize I'm doing my own thing. That's not what God wants for me. Mm -hmm. Ask for forgiveness and And he brought people along with him, with mom and dad. Mm -hmm. uh, that to me was sad. Because they knew this isn't what God said. God said you're not supposed to intermarry, you're not supposed mm -hmm. to be with the right. enemy. You're not supposed to 
but is there a little guilt there? But we should have driven them out so they shouldn't even be here. Mm -hmm. I think there's always parental guilt. Mm -hmm. It's kind of ironic here. Do I keep company with bad men? Right. No. Right. He kept company with bad women. Yeah. Oh, good point. <laughs> good yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, it's and he brought like, others with him. Yeah. Do Sometimes that. God uses people in the church. Like there's Christians that aren't living the way we think we should. That God's still using them. Absolutely. I, 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 That's so, right. You know, there's a lot of people. That God's calling and giving strength, and you're going, "Why are they having the strength? And what's going? You know." Yeah. But it's God's got a plan, even if we don't understand it, and we Always. don't see them living for God and doing it the right way. He's still got a plan through it. What What was Samson's purpose in life? Since that's what we're you know, trying to focus on our own from the Philistines. to begin to deliver them. That's what his purpose was. Did he do it? Yes. yes. He absolutely did it. Oh, my okay. Walked out all the lords of the oh, city. Right? All five of them. All of them. And I was just a parent. If you raise your kid in faith, which we assumed that he was raised correctly as far as right. raised, but he still turned away. But he still right. was a man of faith. And God still used him. Yeah. Although the parents God probably didn't agree with all the stuff he did. Okay. Right? Think about See, this. <laughs> because we know he began the deliverance of the Philistines. Think about what the Philistines are seeing. Here they are seeing a guy that is not living as a good Jew. And they know that. And they know it clearly right. because he's right in there partying with them, and yet he keeps knocking them down. So obviously because he's of Israel, God is with them. He yep. is. And those it's just showing the it. power of God. That's very true. The enemies see it. The yeah. enemies see it, yeah, and they're still afraid of him, so they still have a little bit of fear of God, right? Because they know whatever kind of strength he has is not normal. It's not normal, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's more than the Israelites. Mm -hmm. so, like she tried to bring up earlier, that uh, how the Israelites didn't support Samson. They're looking right at a hero that yeah. could have been a bigger hero if they had just all called on the Lord. So true. And they handed him over. Here's That's the one so guy true. that can deliver us, but they were so complacent, and I guess life was peaceful enough because of the comforting. Uh -huh. right. Why did, did Samson, when he when they came to him, say, "Hey, how about this? I'm gonna lead your army. We're gonna go back right. and fight." But he doesn't. He's a little he wolf the whole thing. And That's what it should. It could have gone at me. Yeah, both, of both of them. Both of them could have. Another left. character. Samson. One of them could have turned and like like cut it a big way. Okay. Yeah. What is okay. Samson's? What is Samson's role? He is to start the deliverance right. of. You know, from the of Israel. Of Israel from the Philistines. Right. He is supposed to. So, now what's their part? They didn't have a part. No, oh, Israel's got to have a part. But Israel's even all the other judges they were supposed, supposed to have already to. done this. Exactly. The judges were supposed to, but they all rallied. This is the only judge that didn't rally an army. Yeah. The rest of the judges Isn't that interesting? And he's the last one. And he's one man he's the army. final one. And he's, that's my he problem. He could have rallied an army. We don't that's know what would happen if he said, hey, Judah, why don't you come with me and fight behind me? There are warriors there. Now, let's not look at Samson, let's look at each other. In Hebrews, or we won't go to Hebrews. In the New Testament, what does God say? How how early does He know what He has for you to do? Before conception. Before, Before conception. conception. Yeah. So you are consecrated, set apart, just mm -hmm. like the Nazarite. So we have a purpose. We have good things to walk in. Ephesians two ten says mm -hmm. that He has preordained for us to do. Are we doing that, or are we a one? One man army. Do we do we bring people along with us to the wrong place? Not supposed to be going there. You know you're not supposed to be going there. Yeah, but it looks good to me. Do I do I do that? I'm consecrated, set apart, just like Samson was, from conception, from the beginning of time. Is what the word says. How am I fulfilling that vow, that consecration? Do I know where my strength comes from? Do I just assume it's, well, I just, I just can't. You know, well, right. Right. You can't. Now we're getting somewhere. You can't. You can do what God's called you to do because he's already provided a way for you to do it. You just have to walk therein. Okay? Those were the things I came across uh, as far as what do I don't want to do. Those were obvious. But am I any different than Samson, really? I'm really not. No, not because I am set apart from the beginning of time for God's purpose in this era to do what? Everybody has to ask, answer that. What am I supposed to do? Who do I influence? And am I doing what he's telling me to do? That's, am I being obedient? And is it for life or is it for a season? Uh -huh. yeah. You know? And right. I consecrated, set aside to do this for the rest of right. my life. 
or is it or here? Season? And does that change within that? Real quick. <clears throat> kind of going back to this, we're talking about the people of Judah. Look how far they had sunk. Yeah. How far away that they were from God. We, we don't know if Samson offered to leave them or not because they didn't want to have any part of it. They just wanted to deliver him to the Philistines. They didn't want to have any part of that. No waves. That thing. And here the, here the Philistines going, you know, our God has delivered you to us. You to yeah. us. Yeah. So where's your God? Right. You ever wonder at what right. point their hysteria of Mark and Samson went from laughter to panic? <laughs> when, the, when the things came down. Yeah. Yeah. When the pillars came in and the ceiling came and down. And so what happened to their statue, their idol, their God, when... I love that, too. When all this... When God used Samson to just mm -hmm. totally wipe him out and right. show his dominance over... The them. strength of David. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. All right. I'll give you just a couple a couple minutes. Remember, we don't we don't meet next week. In the spring break. Spring quarantine. Yeah, that's what I feel like. <laughs>